Hey everybody, how are we doing today? I just wanted to make a quick video about one of the NFL's superstars uh, becoming one of the all-time greats uh, in the league history and in his team's history. Uh, this is uh, TJ Watt, outside linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I'm going to give you a reason, one of the reasons why, because there's many of them, but I'm going to give you one reason why I think he's become what he's become. But before I do that, make sure you uh, make, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the page, uh, comment, give me a comment, share the video also if you'd like. So here's one of the reasons why that I think that TJ Watt uh, has become what he's become. So we know in 2021, he, he tied Michael Strahan's single season sack record, 22 and a half sacks. You know, I looked up some things. It says he missed two games this year. So although he missed two games, he still was able to tie the single season record. We could stand to see. Uh, we could probably say that he would have broke the record for you to play it all season. Here's one of the reasons why that I, after watching many of the Steelers games and just watching him play, here's one of the reasons why I feel he's one. He can do what he does. It's, it's his endurance, his physical endurance. His, his workout regimen um, in the offseason and probably during the season, uh, his running and whatever he does to get in shape, his physical endurance is obviously really, really great. Uh, his workout regimen, his routine that he does has put him in such good shape that it allows him to play at close to his 100% capacity throughout, a four, throughout the whole game. So, for example, this is what I'm saying. So, let's say on defense, he has to play, the average player has to play 70 plays on defense against the opponent's offense. I think that many players can probably go like 50 of those 70 plays at, at between 90% and 100% of their full, full goal capacity, like going hard as they can. They can probably give... 50 plays like that. So most linemen are coming in the game knowing, most offensive linemen knowing that, hey, 50 of these plays, I'm going to have to take this guy's best. But then there's going to be some lulls in there. Okay, it's going to be 20 plays where maybe this guy takes a break. He doesn't, you know, something like that. But I think with T.J. Watt, out of the 70 plays, I think he's able to get around 65, between 65 and 70 plays where he's going full speed. And so this gives him an advantage because most linemen aren't used to blocking that many plays at full, taking the guy's best at that many. Because if you watch him in the fourth quarter, he's still going full speed. He never stops. He never stops. So he's able to go at his, let's say, let's say 90 to 100 percent of his full speed. He's able to maintain that for more plays than most guys are. Most guys, I would say, let's say 50 to 55, they're able to be 90 to 100 percent at full speed. Let's say full, full speed for them was seven. They're able to stay at seven speed for 50 to 55 plays. For TJ Watt, I really believe he's able to get that up to around 65 of the 70, somewhere between 65 and 70. He doesn't seem to take plays off. And I think that that just wears on alignment throughout the game. And when you have a player of his talent level and he's that in that good of shape, you take a playoff, he's going to get your quarterback. He's going to cause a play to happen. He's going to make a big play. He's going to make an impact. Or he's going to make one of those splash plays, as Mike Tomlin says. So that's what I believe. I believe it's his endurance, his ability to maintain his top speed, his top uh, level of play for more plays than most guys are. Um, and that's what makes him elite. So that that's that's why I believe he was able to tie the record this year because he just he's able to play at his top speed because of his endurance. He's able, let's say for example, seventy plays. He's able to get about sixty five of those at least where he's going a hundred percent. That's just that's just very taxing on a lineman to try to to try to uh, block him for that many plays. So that was what I wanted to say. Um, let me let me know what you have to say. Let me know what you've seen. Give me your messages. Give me your comments. Uh, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the page, suggest some other topics you want to hear about. Peace.